We marched the same down 14th Street all the way down to Pennsylvania Avenue. And as we marched, people came in and got in line behind us. And by the time we started out with about maybe 150 people, by the time we got there, we had three, 400 people behind us. And it's kind of funny because by the time we got there, I remember seeing hundreds and thousands of people who were coming from all directions. Everybody was dressed up in their fine dresses and the women were wearing stockings and the guys were all wearing their ties. And we were typical SNCC people. We had on our dungarees and straw hats. And so we had our signs saying SNCC, Freedom Now, and Jobs and Freedom. As we marched in, the crowd sort of opened up for us. We marched all the way right up to the front of the podium by <laughs> where, where, where the speaking was going on. <laughs> It's just, I mean, hey, that's what, that's how we do it. <laughs> so we marched up there, and uh, John Lewis was already up there because he was getting ready to speak, and we all shouted right on to John. It was hot as heck. We stood there for a while, and it was so doggone hot. I saw some shade trees lying up over there on the left-hand side. I said, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to get under the tree. So <laughs> my straw hat wasn't enough to keep me from burning up out there. So I went out there and got on this tree, and I watched most of it from one of those trees on the side of the reflecting pool down there. But I can tell you right now, it was the first time I'd ever seen that many people, one and two. Uh, I knew that America could not resist this. I, you know, it might have been, uh, the paper said 250,000, looked like a million people to me. I'd never seen a crowd that large before, and people just kept coming, and it was just an amazing, it was an amazing show.